It's Lily Philly Pony. Um, I'm going to be reading My Little Pony Vampirism. I am going to be one chapter a day. Um, some, some of the chapters may come late and some of the chapters may come early. So if I get this one early, that's okay because it is... November the 5th and I just started this and I know it's after Halloween you should you should not read this and then, 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 then I could do whatever I want this is YouTube I know with the copyright system and stuff but but still I can still do whatever I want in my videos yeah so, I'm going to read a fan fiction. I do not know what it's about. I do not know. All I know is that, is that, um, is that it's amazing and, and yeah. But first, let me read the bio first. This is made by Mass3FF3CT3. I hope I spell I hope I uh, said that correctly. Uh, yeah. So this is my very first fan fiction and I ever got the, and after I got the idea of ponies becoming vampires in, in my head. I just had to put it into a story. This is the first chapter where Applejack. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna tell you that. Um, please go easy on me since this is my first attempt at fan fiction. But at the same time, give me some pointers on what I can improve on, and I will only continue the story if there is a demand for it. And the next chapter is right there, which will I will be doing tomorrow. Yeah. Um. Actually, yeah, it is kind of long. So, yeah. <coughs> I have a little bit of something in my head. Um. But let's get into the story, shall we? My little, va my little pony, vampirism. Chapter 1. The air was cool, the sun was setting, and Rainbow Dash had about one more hour before nighttime arrived. Earlier that day, Granny Smith asked the Blue Pegasus to deliver a sweater to Applejack, saying that tonight would be a very windy night for her granddaughter and wished that she could stay warm. Applejack had to deliver a small shipment of apples to a street vendor in Manhattan. The trip takes about one day, and Apple and Applejack would simply drop the apples off to the vendor, then stay the night with her aunt, aunt and uncle Orange's, Orange's apartment for the night, and then, and then and then head back first thing tomorrow tomorrow morning the sun as the sun had set leaving nothing but moonlight night rainbow dash began to lose hope of finding her friend and started to head back home that is until she heard a loud scream could it be be Applejack, she thought. She thought. Worried about her friend, she flew as fast as her wing, wings allow her would allow her, while still doing her best to, to see in the night. In the corner of her eye, she saw Applejack's wagon tipped over. In a flash, she flew down to there to investigate. She then saw her friend Applejack lying motionless, breathing heavily with, with apples scattered all over the scene. Applejack! Applejack! 
Rainbow Dash cried. Are you okay? What happened? Applejack had then awoken to, to Rainbow Dash's voice and stood out. Rainbow? Applejack stuttered. Oh, thanks, Celestia. Rainbow Dash sighed. What, what happened to you? Uh, I was just minding my own business, and then some gray pony in the black in a black robe attacked me. I guess I passed out. What? Did he just want to steal money for you, from you or something? No, he just bit me right here. Applejack then pointed onto her neck, showing two small holes. <coughs> Rainbow Dash stood, stood there in confusion, thinking why would any pony do something like that? Applejack began to lose her balance. Whoa, she, she cried. I'm feeling a little woozy. Can you fly me back to Ponyville? No problem, Applejack, Rainbow Dash replied. Applejack then climbed onto Rainbow Dash's back. And then, and then the Pegasus took off. Hey, what about the apples and the wagon? Asked Rainbow Dash. We got pe plenty of, we got plenty of apples in it. And a couple more wagons back at Sweet Apple Acres. Right now, I'm just not feeling too good. Applejack woke, awoke in the hospital. She felt dizzy, and the sun seemed really irritating to her. To her, for some reason, Rainbow is Rainbow standing right next to her. Axe. Axe, are you okay there, sleepyhead? You kind of worried me. I'm fine, she answered. But can you close the curtains? That sun is beating a mighty, mighty fierce glare today. Rainbow Dash nodded her head and and did what and did just that while Applejack began to eat her breakfast, which was laid out for her. Afterwards, Nurse Red Heart entered the room. Well, Applejack, aside from missing a little blood, you should be, you should be just fine. But tell, but tell me this. But tell me, this pony that bite you, what did, what did he look like? Well, I say he had a gray coat, a slick, a slick white mane, red eyes. He wore black robe, and he. And a white mustache and a goatee. Hmm, interesting. I'll notify the authorities then. Well, I'd say you are free to go then. Oh, and Rainbow Dash, I don't suppose I can convince you to donate some blood for your dro blood drive? Me? Please. Rainbow Dash answered, I'm not going anywhere near those needles. I have to to agree I have to agree with ya there, Rainbow, Applejack smirked. Those meals ain't touching me. Nurse Red Heart Red Heart shook her head and replied, It's a shame after all you both have O negative blood type blood. It's very valuable, very valuable to hospitals. Well, if that, well, if that will be all, all you're free to leave. Apple Rainbow Dash and Applejack then left the hospital and began walking towards Sweet Apple Acres. Are you doing all right? Are are you? Are you sure you're going to be all right? Asked Rainbow Dash. I'll be fine. But that hospital food isn't sitting right right with my stomach. I've never tasted anything nastier than that in my life. Rainbow Dash chuckled. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Mean. 
Well, I'll catch you later, Applejack. Rainbow Dash then took off. Took off. Flying into the clouds, heading back to her job, kicking the clouds. Rain Applejack didn't want to waste any time. Now that she was out to, uh, out of the hospital, so she started to buck, started bucking apples again to fill that order. Apple Bloom stood over to the side as she was worried about her sister after hearing what happened to her. Happened to her. Are you, are you sure you want to do this? I wouldn't blame you if you took took the day off, sis. Apple Bloom said. Apple Bloom, I appreciate your concern, but I'm completely fine. Replied Applejack. She then turned her hind legs towards the apple tree and began to buck. But then, then she felt instantly tired. It felt like the sun was burning hot that day and made, and made her feel dizzy just, just be standing outside. Hmm, on second thought, I think I'll take the day off. She then rushed into her house and ran up the stairs heading straight to her room. She then closed the curtains and sat and sat at the corner of of her now dark room entire her entire body then started to feel cold but oddly enough enough she seemed to like to like it apple apple bloom then entered her, the room applejack she cried are you feeling all right yeah i'm just feeling like I need some more time to rest. Why are you in the dark? I uh think the sun is too bright bright today. That's all. Apple Bloom stood there puzzled on the situation. Well, okay. Just call if you need me, okay? She then left the dark room, leaving Applejack alone with her thoughts. Applejack won wondered why she hated the sun so much today, and why she was getting a cold chill from her entire body, but instantly she felt her stomach roaring in pain from the food she ate. She moaned painfully as she fell onto the floor, breathing heavily. Ugh! The hospital food is really getting to me, she cried. As she lay there motionless, motionless for hours. So that is the end of chapter one, or part one, if you want to call it that. Part one, chapter one, I don't care. I don't care. The second... One My Little Pony Vampirism Part Two will be out. Will be out. Out next time. So I'll see you in the next in the next video tomorrow. Tomorrow.